everybody. Today I want to share something a bit fun and inspiring and deal with something that happens to a lot of creative people. This can be creative in any field and that is creative blocks. So if you ever experienced that or if you ever thought about it or if you wondered if you're stuck, this is the video for you. Now first of all, what is a creative block? Well, a creative block is a condition where a creative person struggles to access their creativity, find inspiration or produce creative work. It can affect artists, writers, designers, uh, musicians, anyone who, who makes creative things, any kind of crafter or whatever. And the block can manifest as a lack of ideas, difficulty focusing, feeling stuck or just being stuck and uninspired. So what I do and why this actually kind of never happens to me, I mean, some that I have been unmotivated sometimes, but I've never felt that it was a block. And here's why. First is, number one is, I have a lot of imagination. And I think I've spent my life actually cultivating imagination. That's a big topic, so I'll deal with it later. But if you have a bottomless well of imagination, you will never run out of ideas and you'll probably never feel uninspired. Okay, number two is I embrace imperfection. I know I, that there are artists out there and writers who are way better at their craft or their art than I am. That is not the main thing to me because I think wherever I am in my journey, I'm at the right place. In the last couple of years, I've changed mediums. And if I said I didn't struggle with this new medium, I wouldn't be telling the truth because it's so different from what I did before. But I didn't let the la my lack of ability to stop me. And also I find I have to actually make it a point not to fall into perfectionism and not to beat myself up when it's not perfect or not how I think it should look. My When it comes to painting, my motto is just keep painting till it looks good. And if it looks good to me, that's all that matters. And number three is I find inspiration everywhere. And I have notes here, so that's why I'm looking down. Inspiration is literally everywhere, whether it's a pattern of raindrops on a window or a quirky shadow on the ground. I'm always on the lookout, and that keeps creativity flowing. I notice shapes, colors, patterns, designs. In fact, uh, a few years ago, my sister and I went to Paris, and when I walked into the church of Saint-Germain-de-Prés, I was astounded at the patterns. I could not stop looking at how the whole interior of the building was painted in patterns. So it's that kind of thing. I mean, sometimes the patterns you find are just in the clouds or in a garment, how, how the pattern of the fabric has been put together. But inspiration like that is everywhere. I also experiment fearlessly. So I'm never afraid to try things. And I think partly that comes from my upbringing. I was always encouraged to do things. And, and I think even if you weren't raised like that, you can raise yourself like that. I love to try new things, even if it means making a mess, whether it's a new technique or combining unexpected materials or experimenting, that keeps creativity alive and well. I also allow myself to make bad art. If I have paintings I'm not happy with, or I think they just didn't cut it, I just put them away until I'm ready to paint over them. And there's no shame in that. There's there's no reason why that shouldn't happen. It's just how it is. It's a good thing. Number five, I don't overthink it. I've learned to trust my gut and not get caught up in overthinking. When I feel stuck, I just start creating without worrying about the outcome. I'll start sketching. I'll get out a sketchbook and start sketching and just see where it takes me. And that's often when the best ideas appear. Or I just go do something else. 
sometimes it's like my mind is too busy with other things and and so i i don't call that stuck i call it distracted number six is i keep a creative routine and part of that is i have work at my desk because this is a business i also have a creativity habit which is i aim to sketch something or paint something every day so even if I just pick up a brush and paint a few strokes, my goal is to do something creative every day. By carving out time every day, I keep the momentum going. I don't like get away from it. And that makes it hard for a creative block to actually get a foothold. Number seven is I choose what's fun. I approach my creative work with the same playful spirit I had as a kid. I think a lot of creative block comes from people just doing things that they don't really want to do. So you have to kind of look at if you feel stuck, is, is this really what I want to spend my time doing? Number eight, I surround myself with inspiration. This kind of goes along with seeing it everywhere, but I also bring it into my life so that I have inspiration everywhere I look. And that is things that I buy, how, de how I decorate my home, how the clothes I wear. I just want everything to be inspiring. Number nine is I collaborate and share. And I think one of the most important things, these glasses are not clean, but I think one of the most important things for artists to remember is that you're not in a competition with anybody. You aren't even in a competition with yourself. Art is not a competition. Unless you actually enter a painting in a competition, the creating of art is not a competition. So I share what I know with people who ask. And if I have something to share that I think will help people, I'm happy to share. I also connect with other artists because they know things I don't. For example, I know a young lady at my church who's an art teacher at a local high school. We had coffee together. She's in her 20s. I'm in my 60s. Doesn't matter because we connect on art. And I asked her opinion about one of my paintings, what she would do to change it, what she thought it was missing. And it was it was great. It was a good collaboration. I love bouncing ideas off other creatives. Collaborating with others not only brings new ideas, but also keeps creative energy high. And I'm not afraid to share and I'm not afraid to ask questions. Number 10, I trust my creative process or process as we say here. I know that creativity has its own rhythm. I'm okay with off days. I'm okay with slow days. I keep going uh, sometimes in just a smaller way. If I if I'm having trouble kind of with momentum I will just do something else. And sometimes that's sew something. Sometimes it's design something rather than painting or whatever. Uh, sometimes it's cooking. Sometimes it's just reading a book. But when you pay attention to the process of creating, it's really helpful to keep from, keep you from getting stuck and bogged down and finding it all difficult. If you ever feel stuck, try embracing some of these ideas and see where, see where they take you. I would love it if you'd leave a comment and also subscribe and hit the like button because that does help my channel. And I'll see you next time.